Welcome to Electro Online. To hold to the triad, the triad that we talked about before, where we had distance, absolute magnitude, and apparent magnitude, we should be able to calculate the absolute magnitude if we know the apparent magnitude and the distance. And so we're going to do two cases. The first case is when the star, like Regal, is much farther away than 10 parsecs. And the second case we'll do next when the star is closer than 10 parsecs. So, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to find the absolute magnitude. And we know for Regal it was minus 6.69, but how do we do that? Well, first of all, we realize that Regal will be farther away than 10 parsecs. The distance is known, 772 light years, and we know the apparent magnitude. We're trying to find the absolute magnitude. And again, we're going to go through four steps. Step one, we're going to find the DF, which is known as the distance factor. So remember that last time we had to multiply the distance factor times 32.6. Since we're going backwards, we're going to divide the distance by the distance factor. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to find the distance by the standard distance, 32.6 light years. So the distance to Regal, which is now a known quantity, divided by 32.6, which is the standard distance, gives us the distance factor. In other words, Regal is 23.68 times farther away than 10 parsecs, or 32.6 light years. The next step, we need to find the LF, what we call the luminosity factor. The luminosity factor is going to be the distance factor squared. Again, we're going backwards. So in the other process, we have to take the square root. Here, we're going to square. The distance factor squared is 560.8. Notice we don't get the same number because ultimately we're going to solve for the delta m before we solve for the magnitude itself. So the next thing we're going to do is find the difference in the magnitudes between absolute and apparent magnitude. Now, how do we do that? Why is it the natural log of 560.8 divided by the natural log of 2.512? Well, if you're interested, this is how we used it. So we know that the number 2.512 raised to the delta m is going to be equal to 560.8. So we want to solve this equation for x, in this case, x or delta m, whichever we want to use. And so we first take the natural log of both sides, then we put the x in the front, then we divide both sides by the natural log of 2.512. If you don't understand that, don't worry about it. Simply, we know that the delta m is simply the ratio of those two numbers. So we take this number, we take the natural log, we take 2.512, we take the natural log, divide the one by the other, and that's going to be equal to 6.87. You simply use your calculator for that. And then the final step to find the absolute magnitude, we take the apparent magnitude and subtract the difference we just found. So in this case, the apparent magnitude is 0.18, subtract the difference, and we get the absolute magnitude. And that's how we find the absolute magnitude if we know the distance and the apparent magnitude. And in the case of a star that's farther away than 10 light years, this is how you do that. In the next video, we'll do it again, but for a star that is closer than 10 parsecs away from us. That is how it's done. Okay, ready for step two, or case two? All right. This time I won't forget to make this case two. This is going to be less than 18, case 2. 